Hi guys and welcome to back come back to my channel. Um yeah, um hope you're all good and well and um hope you're enjoying your day, your week. And today I am gonna cook some lekker lamb. I'm cooking two lekker lamb. See, two lekker lamb. Um today is my sister's um 50th birthday and I'm cooking for her birthday for dinner making dinner for her birthday so uh, yeah I'm gonna get on with this I just do a camera a little bit forward so you can see exactly what I'm doing get the Yeah, I think you can see my shade over my foot. Try to not to. Okay, that's how like a lamb. What I'm going to do with our like a lamb, I'm going to cook, put it in the oven. But see, I step holes into the meat. The reason for that, I have to push garlic in there. Whole garlic cloves. Just take the onion off, or the skin off. Onion off. Sorry, guys. Take the skin off, and um, wherever you step the hole, you push our garlic cloves in there. I squash the garlic a little bit. Yeah, there's one. And I do the other one. Globe of garlic, squash it and get it skin off, push it right into our meat. Hope you can see what I'm doing, guys. Yeah, today is Tuesday the 30th, and that's my sister's 50th birthday. And yeah, why not um, cooking something beautiful for her? Okay, I'll push the garlic clumps in there, giving our lamb a, fl a nice flavor. There you go. So our lamb's on here. What I'm going to put on, is going to put it on a tray with lemongrass. I'll get the camera down a bit so you can all see. Still on it. I'm gonna put lemon crust on our ground no, to put our lamb on it. Just snap lemon crust. Just lying on the ground so something for our lamb to sit on. Okay, what I'm gonna do with our lamb? I'm gonna add some of this. Where are you, camera? And some of this I added in the food before, and our lemon pepper mix. Lemon pepper mix. So I'm gonna add it all in our, our skin before I cook. Some of that pork thing, and some of our black pepper. Okay. I'm gonna start on this, open that up, and I'll be back in a minute. I'll get the oil. Might as well put our lamb on now on our tray while we're doing this. That way the juice will run onto the lamb. Yeah, our lamb's there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. Sorry, my shade's still on, on your on our foot. I'll try to fix the light. See, and then you start adding things. Some of the herbs, dry herbs. Some of this. Oh, I never got our light. 
Yeah. Let's see, I don't know where my shade comes from. Um, our lemon pepper. We're going to wrap that into our meat. Add heaps of that lemon and pepper because it's perfect for the lamb. You've got to do the same thing in the other side. Just push it in. We want our lamb to have a really good flavor. Turn it over and do the same. Apply the same herbs. Lemon pepper. can see guys heaps of that lemon pepper and our lamb's gonna go in the oven for a high heat and then turn it down low up to half an hour the high heat is just sealed our meat more of that more of that dry herbs we'll turn it down and cook it down on low after about half an hour in the oven so I'll, um, what do you go? I hope it doesn't burn. Here you go guys. Turn it over again. Put a lemongrass properly. Back down. Hey. I'm about to sneeze. That pepper's got into my nose. Hey, it's going to be a beautiful tasty lamb. Add a bit more of that. Lemon pepper. That lemon pepper needs to be soaked into our meat. You can do that, this and over and marinate it overnight. We got more to come to cook. We have um, what do you call? Some crabs and some mussels and stir fry. So there you go, guys. Pinch of pepper, black pepper. So our meat doesn't get burned. What I'm going to do, I'm going to onion. Just cut it with skin and just put it between and around it. That will help moisture our meat. So have a nice guys. Yeah. One big onion. And that's it guys. Our lamb's going in the oven. I will be back in a minute to show you what's going on. Hey guys, um, the, our lamb is in the oven now and it's half an hour on a high heat and then turn it down. Just a, a high heat to seal off our meat and then turn it down on very low and cook it for an hour or two hours. Okay, I've got um, pork strips here some pork strips and what I'm going to do with this we're going to do our stir fries our stir fries I'm going to add a uh, celery some celery some of our peas we add a carriage some carriage of course some of eggplants love eggplants and some pork troy that's what they'll be on, on our stir fry so I'm going to cut all these up and um, I'll get on and show you how I do my stir fry. And now, I'm going to put a pepper in there. What I'm going to add is a couple of drops of fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. A little bit of uh, paprika, red paprika, just a little bit. Yeah, I give that this time. Oops, I'll stand back. Put the pork down with pork is because of the skin. So you gotta be careful when you cook pork, don't put your flesh on the thing. My pork is nearly ready, guys. Just throw it in the thing. 
Okay, I'll try to sense me oil. A little bit, because we're gonna have to cook our veggies. Okay, our onions, one big onion, large onion. spoon of um, ginger and garlic squashed ones right in the bottom you can get a fresh one but this will do then it's time to turn up our bed. oyster sauce a couple of drops there Remember when we get there, we're going to have to warm this up again. So there you go, guys. It's cooked. The pork is cooked. Let it go into the pot. And I'm going to cook all the veggies and then start putting it in the pot too. Okay. Here's our pork guys. I'm gonna put them in a pot now. I need a lid for this and I'll crap it when I'm ready. Okay. Cooking our veggies now. First our eggplants and our carrots. I'll let that cook off. And then we get our okay guys, I'm gonna cook this off. Yeah, come back in a mum. We get going. At the moment I'm looking for my there it goes. Hi guys, um yeah I just cleaned off our fry pan. Carriage the pork is cooked. Yeah. Gonna add our Celery. We've got all the flavors in our meat and our fat. And now we're just going to quickly put this off. I'm gonna add our green veggies, okay? Cabbage. But I don't want to pull it up again when we do this. So, yeah. Now we add our bath dry, pork dry. This will add the juicy oil of our veggies. Get up our veggies up. Just a little bit of that and then. Dry it up. And transfer it to our pot. And 
it very dry. Very because that will cook, still cook in the pot in the heat. Okay guys, um, we cook the rest of our veggies now. What I'm gonna add in our stir fry is our peanuts. Okay. Okay, that's a lot. Heat up. And fry up in. Here's my phone going up again. And fry it to my bottom. Because I'm going to add some of our mushroom. You can get them mushrooms from the supermarket or anywhere. Uh, I'm going to add our green peas. Dry them up. I think that's dry as well. Dry them Okay, let's fry some mushrooms. Stir fry noodle. Squash it up with your hand. Okay. Let's This sauce, bit of uh, sesame, pinch of veggie salt, all the flavors going in there, and garlic and onions, and then I'm making it flavorful. Sauce, oyster sauce. crabs, a blue swimmer crab. I cut it in half. Okay. It's a blue swimmer crab. I'm just gonna make coconut chili crab. Okay, bit of oil in there. And our onions. Hope you all can see it's getting dark out there. And our chili. I've got green and red chili. Whatever you are, you can see. Okay. And now my spoon is. Just frying it up. I'll just put my spoon on it. Uh, that's a, a crab, the vegetable, and some mustard.
show you all the result of our food when it's ready. Okay guys we'll be back and yeah. Okay guys uh, that's a food ready, that's a crab, the vegetable, the mussel, the fried, the taro, the seaweed, there's a lamb lip, there's a chicken, Okay, guys, sorry, my house is very okay. noisy. And, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in the next video. Finish love and God bless. Finish bless for that, ma'am. For what bless? I'm going to get my woman. My house is very noisy. It's a big company. It's your video life?
Sit down, oi. Stop playing. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Oi. Cut it after. 